The film begins with a young guy named Octavio, who is training at a boxing gym. At that time, Octavio is getting ready to fight against his enemy named Benko for an important MMA title. But the fight keeps getting delayed because Benko is not ready. Finally, Octavio's manager and the gym owner, Paul, got a message from the MMA organizers that the fight will happen at 5 in the evening. Before Octavio goes to the fight, he calls his daughter, Leonie. Coincidentally, it's Leonie's birthday that day. She really wants her dad to be there with her because he promised to bring her a birthday cake and a special gift. Sadly, Octavia won't make it on time because the fight got delayed. Not too long after that, Cosima came into the room and asked Octavio about his pay that he hadn't received yet. Paul had promised her a raise five months ago, but she still hadn't been paid for those five months. Cosima wanted Octavio to talk to Paul about it because when she asked Paul herself, he only made promises. Long story short, the three of them went to the competition place. While on the way, Octavio kept thinking about his daughter's birthday and felt like a bad dad because he couldn't be there for her birthday party. At that time, Paul tried to cheer him up and mentioned that not many people who became parents at 19 could still get along with their ex-wife as well as Octavio does. There, Paul encouraged Octavio to stay focused on the fight and win quickly so he could see his daughter. Eventually, they reached the competition place, and in the hallway, they bumped into Chino and his brother Winkler, who were organizing the fight between Octavio and Benko. Octavio also saw Benko, who tried to intimidate him a bit. At that time, Chino gave Octavio some words of encouragement, but Octavio, who was already upset about missing his daughter's birthday, almost got into a fight with Chino. While Octavia was getting ready in the dressing room before his match, his phone rang and it was his ex-wife, Mina, calling. She wanted to know if the match was over yet. Octavio explained that the match had been delayed by three hours and he would start in 15 minutes. This made Mina very angry because Octavio had promised to be at their daughter's birthday party. They had even agreed three months earlier that Octavio would visit his daughter before 5 p.m. Leonie, their daughter, had been waiting all day for her birthday cake and was upset. Octavio was also upset because he really wanted to be at his daughter's birthday party, but the match delay messed up his plans. Paul, who was with him, tried to calm Octavio down and reminded him that they needed the money from the fight to pay gym bills. Paul also blamed Benko for causing the delay on purpose to make their fight happen at 5 p.m. Octavia was determined to win the fight quickly and defeat Benko in the arena. However, just as he was about to enter, he received a call from David, Mina's husband. There, David told Octavio that Mina planned to seek sole custody of their child through the court, and Octavio needed to understand her reasons. This could mean that Octavio might lose custody of his child, and he would receive the legal documents about it the next day. Octavio got really upset when he heard that, because he believed he had rights and responsibilities as Leonie's father. But Mina took David's phone and told Octavio not to talk like that. She reminded him that he hadn't taken care of Leonie for seven years and left her to raise their child alone. Still, Mina gave Octavio a chance until 6 p.m. If he didn't arrive before then, he wouldn't get to see his daughter again. Octavio, not wanting to lose his daughter, decided to leave before his fight with Benko. At that time, Paul tried to stop him because leaving like that could lead to a long ban from fighting. But Octavio didn't care about that at the moment. Seeing his daughter was the most important thing to him right now. On his way out, Octavio met Rico, a big fan who often bet on Octavio's fights and made money from it. Octavio asked Rico not to bother him because he was in a hurry. He only had 60 minutes to see his daughter. Coincidentally, Winkler and Chino were also at the exit and tried to stop Octavio from leaving the place. After that, Chino and Winkler ordered their men to arrest Octavio so he couldn't leave. Octavio quickly hopped into a nearby taxi and asked the driver to rush to a bakery to pick up the birthday cake he had ordered for his daughter. But during their ride, they got stuck in a parade on the way to the bakery. Octavio decided to make a run for it because it seemed like Winkler's men had arrived in that area. No matter how hard Octavio tried to escape, Chino, Winkler, and their men managed to surround him. 
However, Octavio didn't give up and fought them off successfully. Winkler chose to let Octavio go and called for more help to come to his location. Octavio continued his journey. His parents called him and wondered why Mina didn't allow them to meet their granddaughter, even though they just wanted to be with her on her birthday. Octavio tried to calm his parents down and assured them that he would handle this issue soon. He then contacted Paul to ask about Chino's true identity. Soon after, Paul told Octavio that he had learned that Chino, Winkler, and others were betting a lot of money on his fight. Moreover, it turned out that they had set up the match between Octavio and Banco. Turns out, Chino had paid Banco a lot of money to lose to Octavio in the third round, but they still had a chance to change the situation before Octavio got disqualified. However, Octavio had already knocked out some of Chino's men who were training him, and now he wanted to go see Leoni because he only had 50 minutes left. Shortly after, some of Winkler's men showed up and started chasing Octavio. He continued to run and eventually reached a boxing gym. There he met Cosima, who had been waiting for him, and called her friends who were at the gym to help him fight against Winkler and his men. In that moment, they got into a four-on-four -four fight. When he had the chance to escape, Octavio asked Cosima to hold him off while he went to see Leonie. He also mentioned that Mina wanted to take their daughter away from him and asked Cosima to help him pick up the cake he ordered from the bakery and take it to Leonie's place. At that moment, Octavio planned to rush to Mina's house. Shortly after, Winkler fired a gunshot, causing them to stop fighting. However, Octavio had already left, so Winkler left to search for him. Not too long after that, Winkler's men found Octavio. But Octavio had a plan when he spotted a police car nearby. He tried to provoke the police officers to get them upset, and they ended up arresting Octavio and taking him to the nearest police station. Turns out, Octavio got caught on purpose so he could get a ride to Mina's house. But while they were on their way to the police station, a car deliberately crashed into the police car, and the driver of that car was Winkler. Winkler tried to take Octavio away from there, but Octavio, who was still strong enough, tried to fight Winkler and grabbed his gun. Octavio also tried to escape from that place, and Winkler did the same after realizing that the two policemen in the car were okay. While Octavio was running away, Paul called him and asked what had happened because his friends from the gym were now in the hospital with broken bones and injuries. Paul also mentioned that Chino had contacted him and said he wouldn't harm Octavio if he wanted to return to the fight. However, Octavio didn't care about what Chino said because he only had 42 minutes left. Soon after, Octavio arrived at the bakery to pay for the cake he ordered because he hadn't paid for it yet. Cosima didn't have the money to cover the cost of the cake Octavio had ordered. Out of nowhere, Winkler suddenly appeared at the scene. He gave Octavio one more chance to listen and return to fight Benko. But shockingly, Winkler destroyed the birthday cake Octavio had worked hard to order for his daughter. Seeing that, Octavio got extremely angry and started attacking Winkler uncontrollably until Cosima stopped him. As Octavio left that place, he saw that Benko had also arrived and was trying to arrest him. But Octavio kept running from Benko, and then Rico passed by on his motorcycle and tried to help Octavio escape from Benko. Soon after, Octavio asked Rico to take him to a subway station so he could get to Mina's house quickly. Octavio also received a message from Paul saying that he had been disqualified and Chino's betting money was lost, along with Benko's bet on Octavio winning. Shortly after, they both ended up near the train station. However, instead of helping Octavio, Rico tied him up. Rico tried to apologize to Octavio and asked him to cooperate with the people who were trying to keep him captive. Not long after, several people arrived to meet Octavio at that spot, including a gambling boss named Danica from Serbia. Danica asked Octavio who he worked for, which left Octavio confused because he didn't work for anyone. Danica also asked Octavio about his connection with Chino and why he didn't participate in the match. There, Octavio explained that he had left to see his daughter because his ex-wife would take her away if he wasn't at her house by 6 p.m. 
Hearing this, Danica told her people to call Chino and demand the 500000 he had won from the bet. If she didn't get the money soon, Chino and Winkler would be in danger. Afterward, Danica left, but some of her men stayed behind to keep an eye on Octavio. However, he tried to escape to the nearby train station. Once he got on the train, Octavio asked fellow passengers for help in getting untied. On the train, Octavio saw a news report about the search for the car that had crashed into the police car he was in earlier. Exhausted from everything that had happened, he fell asleep on the train. Long story short, Octavio woke up when the train reached its destination. However, he was surprised to find that Benko had somehow located him there. After knowing that, Octavio ran away from Benko and his men, and he eventually reached a bar not far from the train station. At that moment, Benko and his men tried to attack Octavio, and one of them managed to stab him in the stomach. Despite being injured, Octavio fought Benko as a substitute for their match in the competition arena, which had been interrupted. After a tough and challenging battle, Octavio managed to defeat Benko. Outside the club, Octavio happened to spot Paul, who was also there. Octavio realized that his pursuers had known his location all along because Paul had activated the GPS on Octavio's watch and linked it to his own phone when they were in the dressing room. Shortly after, Paul apologized for what had happened, explaining that he had no other choice but to help them. Paul wanted Octavio to go back to the fight, but when he saw that they were starting to attack and even kill Octavio, he realized that things had gone too far. However, Octavio didn't care and demanded that Paul leave immediately. Otherwise, Octavio threatened to harm Paul. Octavio then went to his parents' house to tend to his wounds from the previous fight. His parents were shocked to see their son in such a condition, but Octavio reassured them not to worry. Soon after, Paul contacted Octavio, expressing his desire to make amends for his mistakes. Paul admitted that he was the one who had planned the fight in advance with the goal of making a lot of money to pay off their debts. In the beginning, Octavio didn't pay much attention to what Paul was saying. However, he eventually agreed to meet Paul when he was on his way to the animal shelter to get a cat as a gift for his daughter. Octavio did this because he realized that Paul was also in danger. While heading to the animal shelter, Octavio contacted Rico and informed him that he knew Chino's whereabouts. Octavio understood that Rico and Danica were only interested in finding Chino to collect their betting winnings. Octavio planned to share his location with Rico once he reached the animal shelter. Long story short, Octavio arrived at the animal shelter to pick up the cat he had ordered. He also called the police and told them that he knew the person responsible for the car that crashed into the police car. Octavio requested that the police bring in a SWAT team because he believed these people were dangerous and heavily armed. Soon after, Paul and some of Chino's men arrived at the shelter. Chino, who had also learned Octavio's location, asked Octavio to surrender. Chino was furious with Octavio because his actions had angered Danica, who was demanding the money from their bet. Shortly after, Danica's men arrived and began firing shots at them. Chino took Octavio and Paul into an empty building nearby. However, the police, who Octavio had called, also showed up, frustrating Chino because he lost all his money. Suddenly, Chino shot Paul in the leg and shoulder and intended to harm Octavio. Fortunately, Cosima was already there and tried to help Octavio. They both tried to stop Chino, but he still seemed strong enough to fight back and even threw Cosima. When Octavio saw his friend fall from a height, he became very angry and started attacking Chino. However, Chino managed to survive Octavio's assaults. Just as Chino was about to attack Octavio, who appeared weakened after being hit by a heavy object from Chino, Cosima, who was still alive, trying to intervene. But Chino was still too strong and nearly hurt Cosima with a wooden block. Luckily, Paul got up and pointed a gun at Chino which made Chino decide to run away. Soon after, Octavio continued his journey to Mina's house and unexpectedly met Chino, who seemed like he might attack him. However, Chino suddenly collapsed in front of him, completely exhausted. In the end, 
Octavio managed to reach Mina's house, although he had to rest for a while because he was very tired from everything that had happened. At that time, Leonie was overjoyed to see her father and hugged him tightly. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is never mess with a dad on a mission for birthday cake, cause he might just beat up a whole gang to make it happen.